What is up everybody? It's Mortz here from Section Store once again. Today we're going to be having a look at this new section of us. It's called the Featured Collection section. You have a little slider and a progress bar in the bottom which displays you how far in the collection you've already gone. And in this tutorial we're going to implement it into one of my own stores. You can see right here. It's a surfboard brand I own with a couple of friends and we're going to fill it with a couple of our bestseller products and customize the colors and everything. Alright, I'd say we just jump right in. The first thing we're going to need for the whole thing is called the Section Store app. You can find it in the Shopify App Store. It's a component library with fully customizable Shopify exclusive components and you can get it for completely free. And after we successfully downloaded it, we're going to head back to the Shopify admin area where we want to be looking for the app right down here underneath apps. Click on Explore Sections and you should be able to find it with the help of our search bar. So we're going to type in Feature. We have a bunch of more featured collection sections so you can just pick but we want to pick the new one we just brought out. Like I said already, the app itself is completely free but we do offer a couple of premium sections like this one which come with a one-time charge of $9 means if you bought it once, you're going to own it forever and you're not going to need a developer. And after you got the section, you don't need any code or anything and you can still customize it to your liking. So I think at the end, it's a pretty good deal. All right, let's install the whole thing. After buying it, we can just add it to our theme, which I've done already. And then we're going to open up the Shopify editor, theme editor. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme. So we're just going to go back there and like I showed you there already, that's the one we saw at the beginning of the video. But we're gonna start from scratch again. So we're just gonna look for Success Featured Collections. That's the one I'm looking for. We're just gonna leave it at the bottom right here. Important thing, always save it up before you start editing it. So all the functionality is in this action already. Right, that looks good. And now we're gonna add a random collection. We're just gonna make it quick. That's the fins, perfect. We see all of them. We can show the progress bar as well. We want to have it at the top. That looks good to me. And the next thing I want to be doing is showing a certain amount of phones on mobile as well. The images can have a border radius if they have an actual background. And we can switch the height as well. So if we do custom height, they're going to get a bit bigger. But the images need to be adjusted in the right number as well. So we're just going to go with the height we set already. We can show the second image on hover as well, if there is one. In that case, we just got a second one on this. And we can do customizable fonts and card sizes as well. So we want to make this one a little bit smaller. So only the price stands out. Yeah, and I want to have them all in one row. We can check that as well, how it looks in the live version. That looks good to me. And I don't want to waste too much time, which is kind of right. Best selling fin collection. That looks good to me. Perfect. Same here. We can change the font as well. It's a bit too big for my liking, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Subheading is possible as well, but I think I'm pretty fine with that right now. So we're just going to leave it blank you all let's make it a bit more spicy see all the fins and we can directly link it to the collectioner of our likings so we're gonna link it to the fin collectioner and you know it already everything here is changeable as well so you can see you can pretty much customize everything here as well the card price is something we can change so we maybe want to make a little bit bigger so that stands out of course you can just do it however you like it's just a little example of how I would do it and the subheading color the link color is supposed to be purple as well so it stands out properly the arrow colors we're gonna put in something like that the background the arrow color just gonna rush through it a little bit but I think you get the, the concept of it and you can see as well those are getting changed directly the price color something I wanna have stand out as well and we can change the arrow color as well and the hover of it and you can see in a second what I mean with that 
and I think that is looking pretty good. We can do some margins as well, so we have some more space to the top. Let's save it all up and have a look at it. Maybe one last thing I want to add to the thing is changing the progress bar color. So I want to have that in purple as well. Now we're going to have a look at it in the live version and you can see it's perfectly working. The arrow color is there as well. And that pretty much brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys found that useful and if you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. It definitely helps us to keep up that motivation. And with that being said, have a good one guys and peace out.